So walking into combatants will be dispatched. I honestly didn't know what to expect. I kind of just bought the limited edition uh, Blu-ray and went with it. So before I get into my opinions and everything about the series, let's hurry up and do a quick recap and see what I think about it in this five minute review. So our story goes with Six, who is this agent on Earth uh, for this evil company who's trying to take over like multiple planets and everything. And he's got a couple bosses like Astroth and Belial and Lilith. They, they're just your, your cliche, big boobed, um, kind of like not, not, not they're dumb, but they're not very smart bosses who end up rolling a die to decide who's actually going to go to this planet to, uh, get pretty much Intel to see what they are going to invade if it's worth it and then invade the planet. So six goes there with an Android that, uh, Al that, um, Lilith actually built named Alice and she's she's just an android with a bomb on her no, it's nothing physical like attack powers but she's very smart which really plays off of six because six is well he's not that bright and he's kind of a pervert but he can fight so we get to the new planet and he meets uh snow right off the bat who is like the top commander in the army of that planet she helps him get to the you know just go to like talk to the princess because She's one of those people that does anything for money and clout because she always, she's got this sword that just keeps getting referenced that she needs to pay off. And she's your dumb bimbo, um, I guess, MC's harem lady. And then we've got two other people that we end up meeting into his army, which is Grimm and Rose. And then while they're doing that, pretty much we find out that there's these demons that they have to fight to try to like take over because now he's just getting intel while he is there and he gets sucked up into everything and uh our main villain is pretty much Hine and the elite four demons which he just sexually harasses and like you know <laughs> nothing really potent about plot driven or any of that stuff the visuals are you know pretty mid nothing superb nothing that we haven't seen before it was done by jc staff which makes sense because most projects they do are pretty mid not to like discredit them because they they're a good studio and they do make some good stuff but nothing that's really like eye-opening or that you know i mean they i digress they're just really good at doing the cliches now the ending uh led me to believe that there is going to be a season two depending on how this season does whether that does happen or not nothing has been confirmed or released yet my personal thoughts on the series was that it was a dollar store Konosuba. Just just a dollar store Konosuba and not and like not like to discredit it too much cuz like I said obviously we have one that's like a uh, RPG fantasy isekai and then we've got this one which is like a sci-fi not really isekai cuz he's not really reborn he's just sent to another world so like I don't uh, exactly understand how they can consider this an isekai because they really died and went to another world. But I guess, you know, whatever, I digress. So, yeah, I mean, the characters and, like, the motives and everything just feels like a complete ripoff of Konosuba. And I, if you haven't seen Konosuba and its beauty, go do that because they did the, the uh, like, hilarious piece of shit MC isekai so well but if you haven't seen it which like i said i go watch it but if you haven't yet watch this first and then watch konosuba because i feel like you'll get a better appreciation for this series not that you already wouldn't but i feel like uh, the appreciation would be a lot higher if you did do something like that so on a scale of one to ten i have to give this one sadly a 6.5 it had entertainment value. It was definitely not boring. But like I said, I digress. It's a dollar store Konosuba. So <laughs> with that being out of the way, thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Um, if you like the video and you stay this long, thank you very much. Give it a like. Uh, I will be doing more. So give it a sub and uh, we'll, we'll talk to you all soon. Peace.